in the vault. I'm locked in the vault. It's a vault. <laughs>
Check, check, check. Check one. No, I know Mikey said he's got to go to his kid's birthday. Evening, Sax Man. Uh, evening, Walk Ninja Trace. Good evening. Eclipse. Good evening. Long Quill's right. Beans don't burn on the grill. James Martin, sniped. Don't do it now. Learning to fly. Learning to fly. What's up, anime? Evening, evening. How are you all doing? <clears throat> welcome. 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 Well, my goodness. <clears throat> This one guy I know, how are you doing? How are you liking it? Well, we're just learning, uh, this one guy I know. I haven't the actually... With well, you, young hold that thought, hold on. <clears throat> you are not a Jedi yet. So I did two VATSIM things uh, on my own off stream. They were both failures. Um, so I decided to learn more and get help on stream. So I haven't done uh, an official beginning to end anything on VATSIM yet. Um... I started, I started to, which is good, right? But I didn't finish them. So we're, uh, we're going to learn, you know, we, I, <laughs> I, um, if you can believe it, I went back and I watched the VOD from last night and I watched most of it and I don't typically watch my VODs. I usually just honestly don't have time. Um, when I get home, um, I just don't have as much time to invest into going back and watching, but I did go back and try to take some notes and try to listen more and what was going on. And, um, and I did watch a little bit of the, uh, the Forder, uh, link that, um, that I think it was Bleeman put. I did watch a little bit of that at the beginning too. So, I mean, I'm trying to get information. Um, well, James Martin, I appreciate it. Listen, there's apparently a lot of people that have done it. So, um, and here's the thing too. I will say this last night when I went back and watched the VOD, um, I was also seeing chat and I realized there's a lot of things that I missed in chat last night, like people asking questions or people giving info. There were just a lot of things that I would go, oh, I didn't see that person say that. Um, oh, uh, you know what? Uh, let's see. Hold on. I, it's going to say the wrong thing. I have to, uh, I changed my password today and I forgot I did that. Let's see if that works. Enhance. Enhance. Let's see if that goes. Enhance. Give me a second. Uh, remembering all the radio terminology is the most intimidating thing about aviation. Uh, way more intimidating than the actual controls. Yeah, to me, uh, me too. Uh, anime. Me too. Me dose. Um. So yeah, I um. I was actually messing around today with some You're of the... Me, What's up, Bryce? I was trying to check the um, um, Xbox Cloud Gaming today, and I downloaded the app onto my iPad. I was like, well, I'm just going to check it real quick. And then I was like, I don't know my password. So I had to reset my password. I never have to log into my Microsoft account. Um, Eclipse is trying to do your sound effect, Saxman. Saxman, how are you doing? Um, ooh, Crash. Oh, that's fun. An early CTD. Hmm. I'm going to take... I'm going to do something real quick. I added in the... Load yeah. What the fuck does that mean? I added in the uh, Fliggity liveries into my community folder and also the catering truck. I've removed them except for the G1000. Um... There's nothing else that I've done. So let's try again. And if it doesn't, I'll have to do a PC reboot. Great start indeed, Pilot Deviation. Defiant Prawn, how are you doing? Um, yeah, no, I understand, James Martin. Definitely. Ask the controller. Yep. Big Huge Sky, what's going on? How are you? What's going on with you? Um, so yeah, we'll load this up. Hope you all had a good day. We, um, I, I, Again, I tried to get a little bit more knowledge on some of the things we did last night just by rewatching. Hopefully some things are better. They might not be. 
but we'll see. Hopefully they are. Um, and uh, Pilot Deviation, I'll join. Uh, I'll join Discord here soon. Uh, Grizzly Grams evening. Tweak evening. Um, so yeah, as we're learning, obviously as we're learning how to do this stuff with V with VFR and having to really stay focused and engaged. Um, you know, we won't be able to do as much GeoGuessr for a little bit. Um, we'll get back. We'll get back to GeoGuessr at some point. I think it's okay to to focus on this for a little bit. Even in bittersweet. Um, yeah, if this crashes again, um, then I'll, uh, I'll have to do a PC reboot. I didn't think I would need to after last night, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to try a new drink. How about this? Can you see that? Is that antifreeze? <laughs> um, it might be just as dangerous. What's up, Grimbaroo? How are you doing? Um, this is one of the drinks I got from... Uh, yes, antifreeze is green. Yeah, it just crashed again. All right, I'll have to do a PC reboot. Um, dang. So I'll try that in a second. What's going on, Twin Mom Ranch? This is Frosty since 1939. I get these drinks at a, at a Rural King. Rural King? So, um, yep, yeah, I'm going to have to do a full PC reboot. So let me put it on a clip show, and I'll be right back. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. The old black rum's got a hold on me Like a dog wrapped round my leg <laughs> No, 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 keep the landing gear down, you're gonna need it. Literally don't think we could have done it much better. Oh look! Landing here. 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 Cheers, everybody. Here comes Logan, everybody. He can't get his throttle. <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> A little short, a little short. Why is my propeller not turning? <laughs> why? That's what she said. Why? Why is the propeller off? Did I run out of gas? Hold on. No. No. No landing gear. We did it. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that one. Attention. This is your captain speaking. I've got good news and bad news. The good news is we'll be landing immediately. The bad news is we're crash landing. I'm not going to make this.
bad, isn't it? Why haven't I landed yet? Oh no! <laughs> Why? What? Why didn't I? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> so we dropped there I think that's a little better no nope, we're dropping we're dropping where this thing sinks Is that that seemed better than 162? Oh, oh, top 10! Five, four, three, two, one, and they're off! Slow start to the first ever derby. <laughs> Kool-Aid off to an early start. I think he started early with more speed behind everybody. Way early. Dock door down in first. Oh, I'm too high. And now I can't read him. The tiny nameplates are too small for me to tell what's going on. Dock door currently in second. Racer in third. And Kool-Aid is done too far on the outside corner. He's crashed. He's crashed. Dock door back in first. Racer takes over second. A little on the outside corner. And now he's outside the track. Jeff almost. Racer's done. Second place now is Metal Moss. Metal Moss still behind. Who is that? Can't read it. Doc Door is still in first. Gadget Guy in third. Jeff in fourth. They're on the back stretch right now. Doc Door clearly in first. Metal Moss going side to side, allowing Gadget Guy to take over second. Jeff also going to pass Metal Moss for third. Here comes Dark Door. Doc Door around turn three. A little slow on that. Gadget Guy is also in the building. He's crashed. And Doc Door and down the stretch they come. <laughs> Doc Dork, you gotta keep going. They actually finish in the middle. No problem at all. Doc Dork is your winner. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hi. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh God. Oh my God. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Check one, two. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, everybody. Yes, Comic Crazy 2 CTDs on this menu right here. I haven't even gotten past this menu tonight. Uh, average guy, thanks for the raid. Thank you so much, average guy. How are you all doing? Hollywood's good evening. Uh, Aqua Berry, good evening. NPR Finland, good evening. Speedy, 7524, evening. Dead Bones, evening. Uh,. Kaysen, hope I'm saying that right. Good evening. How are you all doing? Thank you again, average guy. What's going on, everybody? Um, formable seeker says we end this together, boss. Well, I like birds. Sometimes it happens. It's okay. We got two CTDs, and um, hoping it loads because you know, after restarting the whole computer, it should, right? Uh, Hart von Beek twenty says good night. I'm just wake. Or good eve or good morning. Uh, Finland says four a.m. So easy, a caveman could do it. <laughs> yeah, I guess you are about five hours ahead, maybe six, maybe no five. Um, evening, caveman. How are you? So we are um, we are trying to learn. Um, we are trying to learn how to 
do a little bit of uh, pattern flying around airports and know the right phraseology. Um, know how to talk to ATC the right way. We've been doing it for the no. last two nights. Oh, do not. But there is no truth. last night was kind of the first night we've done this. We've really only done this once. Ready to fly. Okay, formal secret tonight is more educational. It's more just flying in loops around airports to learn the proper procedures. So you might learn some things. It's not, you're more than welcome to fly in the area wherever you want, but that's what I'm going to be doing. But anyone is welcome to uh, fly along that way. Um, let's see. Just saw what Walk Ninja said. I didn't, I don't think I typed anything in the keyboard. Did I? Um, and, um, we blue, got one! formidable secret. Thanks for the follow. Oh, look, it loaded. Look at that. It worked. Um, blue yonder. I saw your message, um, about, you know, with it being two PCs, can't I just stay on? And yes, I could. Um, Raven, good evening. Um, but Blue Yonder, I, I think the clip show is probably a little bit more entertaining than me during that moment, so I've kind of opted with that. Drag race first person around the globe. Oh my gosh. We, we At some point, we might do a little car racing, but that's like the complete opposite of what we're doing right now. So, Jacob, good evening. Um, new clip show wins. Good question. We do need a new clip show. We do. Uh, Mamba, good evening. So, um, here's what we're doing. I am joining, actually, I'm joining uh, Pilot's Lounge. Let me drag Pilot Deviation. Pilot Deviation, can you hear me? I can. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, that voice starts to spark terror <laughs> in me. Come on. I only said I. No, I know, but... I just watched three hours of a VOD of, of me trying to remember what to say. And, and and it's funny because I, you know, even after watching the VOD, I'm like, oh, man, I really didn't know what I was doing in a lot of this. And it's good, you know, because I still don't know some things, but I, I think I remembered some things. I hope so. Um, so the question is, uh, as you were watching the VOD, did you, like, break the instruction in pieces and try to analyze just a little bit? Yeah, there were definitely, there were a couple there were a couple that I paused the VOD and even rewound multiple times to re-listen to what you were saying <clears throat> and trying to process. The one that got me the most was there was one when you said, um, oh, now I can't even remember. It was something about, you said, runway 30 left, um, turn left, um, down. I remember that one. So... Yeah. The instruction was on upwind, change to runway 30 left, join the left downwind for 30 left. It was join the left downwind. The word join, because I'm so I'm so entranced in trying to remember runways and directions that the other words I tend to forget and be, and those words you would Roar. you would think are not that big a deal. Join uh the left uh, downwind or, or whatever you said um, when I don't know what to do with the information and I don't know that small word of join I get I hit a brick wall I just I get a blank so I, I it's something where I I'm maybe the more I hear those instructions the more I'll understand them and I won't have to think about them but I still even when you just said it I still had to think about it so join was actually a keyword for you. Okay. The join the join in the phraseology, it's specific because you were on the loop for one runway, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, you were right. doing circuits on I think it was two runway five. two five. Yeah. Right. So you went doing laps around two five, and then the instruction was to on your upwind leg change join the uh, change to runway three zero left and then join that downwind. Right? Join, yes, join the, that down. The word join is telling you to join the pattern of that specific runway. Right? Right. <clears throat> so the word join specifically is telling you, well, join with the instruction. So it's going to be enter 
the left downward for three zero left at that point. Um, and that was the key word for you. Like when you when yeah. you heard me change the run menu and say the word join the blah down one or the base or whatever, it's a keyword for you to immediately in your mind be like, okay, he's changing the runway on me. I got to change my pattern leg. That is all you're doing with that word join. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I think, I mean, I definitely understand what it was um, after watching it and, and processing a little bit more, but even then I'm still going to have to hear it a couple times. Um, uh, so uh, formable seeker says, could you possibly pick somewhere with lots of good views? Yes, um, I think that's fine. Um, I think I will leave it up to you all for our first airport tonight to pick an area that is in the United States, has to be in the United States, Finland, um, because of the procedures we're learning, um, that, you know, it'll be a smaller airport that we'll leave from. But I'm, I'm, I do want multiple runways at this airport um, so we can practice those types of things. Um, but good scenery. Um, so we don't want we don't want New York. That's going to be way too uh, way too busy. We don't want that many people. Now, obviously, we're not doing that sim there right now. We're just practicing, so it's not that big a deal. Um, what's Rio? K R I O. What's that? Is that Raleigh? Rio de Janeiro. Is that considered uh, United States? It is not. It is not. I have suggestions if you want to listen. Yes, I would love them. So, in since I know more of the South Florida airspace, there's a cool airport called Four Piers. The code is KFPR, and it's mostly used for GA and training. It has uh, two sets of parallel runways and, a, and an intersecting. Um... So Jake breaks it really wants Raleigh Durham. Have you have any Raleigh Durham only has two uh, a set of parallels. A set of parallels, so we wouldn't want that yep. one. Yeah. It only has two. I mean you can do it, it only has two runways. That's yeah. as much as you're getting. Yeah. So um Jake says it has three and one is ninety degrees. Let's see. I think that ninety degree one let's, let's zoom in on it. Look at it. Yeah, it's this little tiny one. So I guess it does have a third one. I mean, you could. It's still. We could do it's that. It's up to you. That's fine. We could do that. Yeah, we could do this, uh, Jake. Um, you made him happy. Um, so I'll just do. These are all gates. Those are gates. I'm no, that's actually the GA ramp right there. The, the small little first area that yeah, yeah. this one here I figured this would be it because these are going to be gates yep that's so, all GA and FBO we'll and all that right there okay now pop quiz yes what type of airspace is rally there um we'll give me a second um, let me do that, and that's the wrong one. Okay. So this is K R D U. Let's see. Maybe I'm doing this the wrong way, but we'll find out. Um, does it say here? I'm going to find out. Technically, it does if you look at the right places. Yeah. Is this where you would normally look? Or would you look at Sky Vector? I would personally prefer Sky Vectors to figure out airspace. But you have the sectional chart for Rally Durham in the same page in here if you look to the right side, which mm -hmm. is technically the same. I quote, see. Quote. Yeah, right there. Yeah, you're right. That's true. So, um... Oh, come back. That was weird. Zoom in and it's gone. Is that a bug with... Probably could be this website. Okay. That's why I trust more Sky Vector than anything else. So I don't have blue circles. Right, because blue was what kind of Bravo. airspace? The, the dark blue, right, the full blue airspace. Right, it was Bravo. So we have uh, red um, and... 
So if it's not Bravo well, and it's not a Delta because it doesn't have blue either, what is it? I mean, it's got to be Charlie, like KLEX, Correct. right? Correct. So is there no Alpha? I mean, is there an Alpha? Alpha or space, it's above uh, 17,000. So above 17,000 feet, is alpha. you fall into class Alpha airspace, which is only IFR. You cannot do VFR in class Alpha airspace. Uh, formable seeker, we're on West USA. So, okay, class Charlie. So it's the same as what we dealt with at KLEX. Correct. Okay, and there, I don't see any restrictions uh, but what you is... actually do on the inner ring and on the outer yeah, ring. I wish so... I could read that. I can't. Was it the 44 SFC? Correct. SFC means surface. Okay. So anywhere up to 4,400 feet, I'm good. That is the inner circle, right? But you still got to maintain that pattern altitude. So now if you zoom in, you see it to the left. 435. Uh, there you go. I'm sorry. To the right. Even in heaps. So 435 is the elevation here. Correct. Yeah, 435. So plus a thousand feet. Plus it's so 1435. So we'd have plenty of room. We'd have another 3,000 feet to our ceiling. Correct. So we to have the, no issues. The ceiling outside of the Charlie. Correct. You need to stay within the Charlie. Uh, you're talking about this small circle. So the class Charlie is the inner and the outer circle. Okay, inner but and outer. You okay. you will be operating On inside the inner. the inner circle for the time being because you're only working the pattern. What happened if I accidentally went out this small circle? Then they'll have a phone number for you to call because you didn't request a uh, a transition into that area and you would have to talk to approach. So this area is approach? Both areas are technically controlled by approach. So here's the interesting thing. Airspaces, think of them as an upside down uh, layer cake, right? Like a wedding cake, okay. just flip it upside down. Okay. So yeah. you have the center controlling the biggest chunk with this. Sure. The whole thing, yeah. which is the boundaries are huge, yeah. right? Then you go to the separate approach sectors, right? But within those approach sectors, you have other sectors. Now, each airport has its own airspace that the approach controllers work. For VFR, it's important that you know your difference between a Bravo, a Charlie, and Delta, and Echoes, if that's the case, if you're uncontrolled. Because then you figure out who, well, I'm sorry, when to call ATC and when not to. Okay. In this case, class Deltas, Charlies, and Bravos all are, are all controlled airspaces. So you do need to be talking to ATC for most of the time, yeah. if not all of it. Okay. So uh, I am looking at uh, the traffic patterns and they're opposite. We have left and right. We have right, right and right. left. And we have left and left. So we'll have to wait and see what ATC gives us for which direction we're going to go and which runway we're going to take. Correct. Now, keep in mind, uh, in VATSIM, you wouldn't get runway 1, 4, and 3, 2 if, if the airport is busy. Because as you can see, 1, 4, and 3, 2 conflict with runway 5 right and 5 left. Now, that's up to the controller, obviously, if it can fit you in the pattern while they're using runway five right and five left or two, three left or two, three right for commercial traffic. But normally they would probably not use this runway? Normally they will not use that runway, correct. They'll probably issue you five right or five left or any of the uh, northeast, southwest runways. Okay. However, since this is practice exercise, we'll just use that runway and then swap around, do some runway changes and stuff like that so you can work on those. Okay. Uh, Jake says it's the NCAP and National Guard runway. Right. So it's primarily used as a departure runway, not as a pattern work runway or a circuit runway. They just launch people on one four, ship them straight down southeast, and that's it. I'm going to try a drink of this. This is the uh, Frosty Blue Cream Soda. This is since 1939. I have a feeling it's going to be really sweet. Here we go. First time ever trying this. It's not that sweet. It's got a uh, blue, uh, blue slushy, like a blue icy flavor. Blue, I if you like blue ices or blue slushies, kind of like that blue raspberry. Hmm. Big. It, you know what, Jake? 
It actually tastes kind of like Big Red, but it's blue. Mmm. Well, that's like a liquid dessert. And yes, ale eight. Yep. Mmm. <clears throat> that is hitting the spot. I need that for tonight. All right. So, we are... We're going to dive in. Um, let's see. Oh, and you know what? I saw Hapes. Hapes. I saw when I watched rewatched the VOD. I saw where Hapes said, um, when you told me to follow Blue Yonder in on the runway and to find the traffic, Hapes put in the chat, you should turn nameplates off. And I was like, oh my gosh. I didn't see That's that a challenge. until today when I was rewatching it. And I was like, I don't, how would I even know? Which one was Blue Yonder? I mean, I guess you can tell he's the only plane getting ready to land. You know, you can look for any plane that's getting ready to land. But still. Just keep in mind, I th I don't think uh, airplane call signs are a thing still in MSFS and, and V Pilot. So you might have a problem f figuring out traffic without nameplates. Yeah. We said follow the diamond. Yeah, but Blue Yonder, it's really, really tough when you have generic models on. <laughs> and you can't see... I mean, you can see the letters DA62 if you have nameplates on, but if you don't have nameplates on and you have generic models on, you're kind of screwed. All right. So, um, let's just get everything turned on. Um... Did get that livery installed. Nice. It is pretty, isn't it? Okay. So, um, we have to do a few things. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pull up the charts for K. R O I. That's not it. Where are we? R. Rally Durham. R D U. R D U. I saw R O I earlier, I thought. R D U. There it is. Oh my gosh. Jake breaks it. I can't tell you how excited I was to see UNC beat Duke on Coach K's final home court game. I'm assuming you weren't excited? Uh, what's up, James Hutchison? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. So, taxi. Let's look at airport info. Here is our airport. Um, so, we'll pin that. Um, you can only pin charts in the current flight. Oh, I'm not in current flight. Okay. Um, let me just see if there's anything else I need to know. So, I know that... Um, Ground here is either 0.7 or 0.9er, depending on which runway we're going to take. Now, that's kind of interesting because we don't know what runway we're going to take. Right. In Vatsim world, it's a lot easier because you can just see the... Uh, you can just see which one it would be. That makes yep. sense. Yeah, you would just know who's running ground and what the frequency is. Right. Let's assume... Um, it's 0.9er for now, and then if I have to change, I'll change. But so here's a trick. Mm -hmm. The runways are based... The, the, the Sorry, the controllers are based on runways. So what's your closest runway? Um, 23 left. Correct. So just look up the frequency for 23 left, and that's your ground controller. Yeah, that's 0.9er for now. So we'll, we'll stick with that for now. Um... And obviously, the more you get used to these airports, the more you know all these little details. But um, I'm going to, you know, we don't know which way we're going to go. Uh, I haven't looked at the wind yet. Uh, let's pull it up. Let's pull up the wind. So exclamation mark weather, KRDU. Uh, it says um, from 190 degrees. So the wind is coming from the south. 
Um, so that would probably make the most sense to do 23 left because there's not something that's going straight south. Um, 23 is probably the closest to 190. So we'll, we'll hope that that's the case, 23 left. And then uh, pressure is 3023. Um, elevation at this runway is 431 feet. So let's change our uh, barometer to 3023. Now, he, uh, I, this would be easier if uh, we tuned into ATIS on vPilot and it just told us. Um, but Tower might tell us as well. Um, and that looks pretty good because this said 431 feet. And as soon as I tune this to 3023, it does say 430. So we'll hope that that's correct for now. The next thing I'm going to do is plug in um, this line for 234 um, on our C or a CDI. So 234. Wish this was quicker. Do not try the crossover from left to right at the left end of that map. You will definitely die. Ice Trinity says, I await his death. <laughs> if he dies, he dies. I don't think that bridge is model on any sim. I tried this airport on X-Plane, and, and I get like a bounce in that bridge area. So, Okay, there's 234. And again, all this might change when we get uh, when we hear from them, but... This is just us trying to have a little bit of an understanding before um, Tower talks to us. All right. So uh, we would tune into ATIS, we would get information, find out what it is, um, and then we would... Uh, our frequency is 121.9er. That's what we saw earlier for ground. So we would say uh, Raleigh Durham ground, Fox Trent Lima 1976 radio check. Fox Trent Lima 1976, you're loud and clear. All right. Um, so we'd say uh, Raleigh Durham ground, uh, thank you. We have information. Bravo requesting taxi for pattern. So uh, one thing we haven't touched is that on VFR, on initial contact, you specify your aircraft type. In oh, the real really? world, you okay. would do that, yes. In the real world, so, you would, but do we do it in yes. VATSIM? It's good practice. I mean, I hear some pilots do it, some pilots not, but I would say it's good practice just to let the controller know because in case you forgot to file a flight plan, the... Uh, so that's another misconception. Do, do, you do not need to file a flight plan for VFR flights. We got one! Um, you just Echo need to Bravo, specify. thanks for the follow. Um, you just need to specify where you're going and who you are, right? Well, but we have to file a flight plan through VATSIM. No, you don't. That's another misconception. You only have to file a flight plan if you're flying IFR or you're flying uh, inside, operating inside class Bravo airspace. Really? Uh, man, that's different than what I saw. Because they put mm -hmm. in like remarks. Uh, that is, it is optional. Flying patterns. You do not, you do not need to file a flight plan. It is optional. Interesting. You can just hop in the network with a call sign, as long as you say the correct phraseology. Like for example, uh, rally Durham ground Foster Lima 1970 sets Cessna 172 over at the GA hangars requesting VFR pattern work, or requesting pattern work, or taxi to a pattern, something along those lines. So that could equally be accepted. Okay. I'm entering that in so I don't forget. Are you drinking yep. Windex? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, no, this is Frosty Blue Cream Soda. It's uh, like a blue slushy. It's wiper fluid. Or like a blue icy. Mmm. Mmm. So, okay. We'll try again. So, um... 
Uh, Julian says aircraft type is also useful because an ATC can roughly estimate your speed and climb rate. Yeah. Correct. That's also useful. And uh, on VATSIM, for example, controllers don't have like a view outside the window. So we don't see yeah. what you actually are. Even if you like connect uh, on vPilot, you know, when you connect to vPilot, you need to put in your aircraft type. Yes. We don't see that aircraft type. So as controllers, we only see dots on a scope. We all don't see the aircraft type when you file the flight plan? Nope. Nope. Weird. Okay. I it is not that. something we can see. No, it's not nothing. Something we can see. the The reason why you file when you enter when you connect to Vatsim, well, we can see it if you file a flight plan. But if you don't file a flight plan, we can't see it. So, um, I, Defiant, we're at uh, Raleigh Durham RDU KRDU. Um, so let me try again. So it would be so now. Echo Bravo even says um, um, Skyhawk, Foxtrot Lima, nineteen seventy six at the GA ramp. Um, that's another way you could do it. It's because you're, you're saying Correct. what you're saying. Okay. Correct. Uh, Expressway yes. Visual says, we do see it if you file a flight plan, but just connecting doesn't allow us to see it. So you don't, right. if I'm going to do pattern work, I don't have to do a flight plan. You do not need to file a flight plan. Correct. It is good practice, though. Um, if you want to do it, I mean, it's, it's up to you, but it's an optional. Don't feel like it's a requirement. Okay, I don't know what Hart Van Beek means, because uh, I think there were some typos in there. The W-Y and J-O-U, I didn't know. We'll set them the aircraft type as you can see it. I'm not sure what that means, Hart Van Beek. Um, so I would say... Uh, um, uh, uh, Raleigh Durham Ground, uh, thank you. Uh, Skyhawk, Fox Trot Lima, 1976, with information. Bravo, requesting taxi for pattern work. Patra Lima, 1976, Rally Durham Ground, good evening. Squawk 2341, runway 23 left, taxi via Alpha. The uh, Rally Durham Altimeter 3023. Uh, squawk 2341, uh, one, runway 23 left via taxiway Alpha, Fox Trot Lima, 1976. Good. That's all you need. Okay. Remember, we don't read back information because it's yep. just that. Yep. It's just information. Yep. Um, and then, as everybody in chat has said before, once you're talking to ADC, it's literally who you're talking to, who are you, what are you doing, and stuff like that. So and where said, are you? I said 2341. I'm going to go on and put in my squawk. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go on and put it on mode C. I would also do that. I would make sure it says mode C in vPilot as well. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, bring up the chart real quick just to confirm that path runway 23 left via taxiway alpha looks like we are you know really close um, it's really right where um, Amtrak is so uh, just right out there so pretty easy um All right, let's uh, let's get ready to go. Let's see what happens. Um, so, Hera, to con to answer your question, the reason why you put your aircraft code on the V pilot client once you connect to Vatsim is so other planes see you as what you really are. It doesn't feed that information to the to the flight servers. We only get your call sign once we open a flight plane. So a couple of things. Echo Bravo puts in. Um, he has a lot of info there, um, and I think that's kind of what we did last night maybe if you want to depart vfr period you can call ground uh vfr departure and northbound eastbound southbound westbound uh then when you're holding short and calling tower you just say holding short runway vfr departure um that's if we're not doing pattern work right that's just if we're just saying we want to do right. vfr a certain so direction. so we're still doing pattern work nets once we're done with pattern work then the next step up is that's to the do next one vfr yep vfr flights in and out of uh, different types of airspace. So we'll get there, Echo. Uh, Echo Bravo, we'll get there. Um, but we're just doing pattern work right now, so I don't mess up. Now, uh, Make America says, when what happens in VATSIM if you ha if you take off before ATC clears you? Uh, do you get banned? You don't get banned. You do, however, if you don't um, reply to the controller, you'll get dinged by the controller. 
right? And at first, controls will try to be friendly and stuff like that, but you, if you keep doing stuff like that, um, like non-realistic ATC procedures, you might get dinged by a supervisor, and then there's just disciplinary action from that. So the yep. short answer is no, but the long answer is yes, you can be banned for yeah. not complying with ATC If you do it enough, I'm sure if you do it enough, they're, they'll yep. probably get over it. Yep, you get a slap on the wrist on the first one, and then it goes deeper and deeper from that, and then you can get banned. Yeah, so spend time learning before you make a mistake like I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to do this where I don't make mistakes um, on on the network, you know. So I there's mean, no trolling. No, there's absolutely no trolling. They they run a tight ship. It's there not, is no trolling. There's no trolls. And as controllers, we are the ones who report the trolling. Pilots can do the reporting as well um, for trolls and stuff like that, but it's mostly controllers. I overshot that. I wasn't looking. Okay, so I can call in if I want. I could say Raleigh Durham Tower, uh, Fox Shot Lima, nineteen seventy six, holding short. Two three left, uh, requesting takeoff. Nope. At this point, you don't need to request a takeoff. You just say you're ready for. Oh, takeoff. ready for takeoff. That's what I meant. Ready. Yep. A different re word. Mhm. Mm so, Fox Charlie, my 1976, make left close traffic runway two three left, clear for takeoff. Uh, make left closed traffic, uh, runway two three left, clear for takeoff. Fox Charlie, my 1976. So you heard that I didn't tell you the uh, report midfield down one like I've been doing the past. That's right. You uh, did not say right. that. So I'm imply I'm expecting you to do it regardless because you're gonna stay in the pattern, right? You do not need the instruction. Remember when uh, Bull Yonder told you that it's implied and as a pilot that you will do that on every lap. Uh huh. So that's what I'm trying here. Okay. So it's not. So there's gonna be a different instruction of when to contact you. Nope, it's still the same. I'm expecting you to do the same as we've been doing last time. I just didn't give you the instruction. It's just going to be a given. Okay. Right. I'm just expecting you to do it. Now, Julian says you don't say not ready for takeoff. You say ready for departure. Is that true? Either word is accepted. There's Either no word, word is accepted, Julian, apparently. I'll, I, so, I mean, I'll say whatever is, is correct. Um, it doesn't. There's, there's no. Yeah, there's no. Ready for departure and ready for takeoff are equally accepted. Okay. So uh, cleared for takeoff or cleared for departure? No. When you're clear, when you're reading back, it's clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff. But when you're calling ready, you can say ready for takeoff or ready for departure. It's the same. Interesting. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Um, oh my God, I lost the word here. Um, it's the same meaning, right? Okay. Yeah. You're just letting the controller know that you're holding short of the runway and you're fully ready to go. Yeah, and Julian now. says in Europe it's a no-go. Reason is the Tenerife ca catastrophe. Um, and yeah, uh, nomenclature tweak says no. So Julian, yeah, I'm trying to only learn, and that's something we've noticed. We've had a lot of people come in chat the last few nights and say, no, you're saying it wrong. You're saying it wrong. It's because they're used to different countries. I'm learning United States. And what's We're acceptable. starting with United States. Yep. Yeah. We're I'm, starting with United States, and then once you master United States, yep. then we'll go to then other we'll countries. Then we'll go to other countries. Yeah. I, instead of learning a lot of different countries, I don't want to get confused. So this was left closed uh, pattern. Uh, runway 23 left. And since you have a very long runway here, you can just roll all the way to the end of the runway. Once you run out of runway, that you can turn your crosswind. Gotcha. Yeah, Eclipse, it's every server. Um, but it's there's only one server. Right? For VATSIM, there's only one VATSIM server. There's, a, yeah, there's a global, there's sub-servers, like, to balance loads, but there's just, yeah. Everybody sees each other. It doesn't matter what server you connect to on that. Okay, so we climbed 500 feet upwind, and now we're climbing another five feet crosswind. 
Now we're turning left to downwind. And we should be at about a thousand feet above, but not more than. Right now we're about 800 feet above the elevation of the runway. Um, and something else I saw Forder say, and it made a lot of sense, was once you're on your downwind, you should actually lower your power a little bit because you do now have a tailwind. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was that was good feedback. It is like it is actually good feedback. Like at this point on a Cessna, you want to be approximately 80 knots or something like that. Yeah, I'm like one Cessnas are yep. Cessnas, Cessnas are slow flyers, so you don't need a whole ton of speed to make your pattern. Eclipse says, do you get banned forever or for a certain time? It depends on the, the uh, infraction you're making. Um, Fox Rattleman, 1976, midfield uh, downwind. Um, runway runway. two, three left. Fox so. Rattleman, 1976, runway two, three left, clear for the option. Runway two, three left, clear for the option. Fox Rattleman, 1976. Was I okay to start with my identity yeah as i said the information uh, as long as you get the information right there's no like you won't get slapped for for doing the opposite right so for me and and this is me the right way of doing it for me is when i'm requesting something or telling something i am saying my call sign first when i'm replying to something i'm leaving it for last that's just me and that's how it feels right for me. Okay. I feel comfortable saying who I am when I do that. Fox Rotlyman 1976. It's almost like I'm saying Fox Rotlyman 1976 is midfield downwind. And that's totally acceptable. Now you overshot the pattern. I did. Crap, I was looking at Defiant. I don't know this airport enough, but I'm going to get it. And uh, Blue Yonder said, you also reduce power because you never fly full bore. That burns the engine, plus more speed is more speed you need to burn off. There you go. There's a pilot telling you what to do. Mm -hmm. um, right, Make America. It's who you are, who you're talking to, where you are, and what you want. Yes. Bryce said, how to understand taxiways. I use flight assistant trying to learn, but I don't have the flight assistance. Yeah, you'd have to open the charts, Bryce. So... For to make America great, uh, I would say on FAA at least it's the other way around. It's who you're talking to, who are you, where you are, and what you want. Sorry, Defiant. So the first two are inverted, at least in FAA world. So Miami Center American one two three requesting IFR to blah. So to me that feels right. That's that's just what I'm saying. Some people say no, it's the other way around. At least FAA, I think the the, the seventy one ten, which is the ATC manual, puts it that way. Uh, wormhole, GG. That was a. It looked like a good landing, but it was a. It was a high, high rate. Oh, that was weird. I didn't do that. All right, let's do some regular mm -hmm. pattern works here, and mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. curveballs are gonna start. Love the curveballs. Bring them. I'm ready. I mean, I'm not ready, but yes. Are you ready? No, I'm not. But but <laughs> I I tried. I tried to study. So we'll see. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just get you warmed up first and then we'll uh, start. Yeah, I appreciate the, the warm up. Nomad Ninja says you gotta ring the phone before you can say hello. name who you're calling well but so so nomad um my understanding is i don't have to say raleigh durham tower uh because we've already established communication at this point is that right right but he's talking about the uh the discussion of who you are who you're calling and stuff like that okay so that's the i think that's the discussion he's going back into so the discussion that started with uh with make america great again that says uh who are you calling who you are and what do you want so And we'll keep going into that because that's a very interesting discussion, but go ahead. Fox Rotlyman 1976 midfield downwind of runway 23 left. 
Spots are Lima 1976, runway 2 through left, clear for the option, except stop and go. Cleared for the option, uh, except for top, stop and go, runway 2 3 left, Fox Charlie Lima 1976. I said that in the wrong order, didn't I? No, you were perfectly so, fine. Okay. Cleared so for the option, going back except to the, for touch, touch, stop and go. Except for stop and go, correct. Yep. So, going back to that discussion of who, what, where, and stuff like that, the reason why you would say the station name, so the person you're calling first, is so you grab their attention. And once you grab their attention, then you tell them who you are, right? Because if you tell them the other way, like, Foster Lima 1976 Miami Center, they're going to be like, is this guy calling me? And then yeah, it, it, there's a little bit of gap in communication here, there, if you know what I mean. Yeah. up reaper he says in the military we use call sign first right civil is the other way around yeah i guess there's different rules okay so again that was cleared for the option so we have the option of whatever we want to do except for stop and go runway two three left and we gave our call sign Well, I'm consistent. 110 and 111. So with doing more of this VFR, I think I'm going to start looking into um, the whatever it is, the eye tracker or camera, whatever it is, or your head movement. It would help me a lot to like look over or look you down. Mean track IR? Track IR, yeah. The problem with track IR is it only recognizes your head movement. So right. unless so you have, you have like a monitor to your left. I do. Um, but I only yeah, use one monitor. But I only use one monitor. Yeah, then it's gonna feel awkward when you're turning your head and then moving your eyes to the monitor. Right. If you know what I mean. Well, but you a can, lot of people like it. Yeah, but you can pause your movements when you don't want to use it. You can just pause it and it won't do it. Right. I mean, it, you can try it. I've seen a lot of people use it, but then, as I said, it's kind of awkward that you're turning your head to your left, but your eyes need to stay on to the right because your screen is right in front of you. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. No, I've done it before with my phone, so I understand the concept of it. It just didn't work very well. So I was wondering if I did an actual track IR, if it would be better. Fox Charlie, 1976 is midfield downwind of runway 23 left. Fox Charlie, 1976, runway 23 left. We were touching up. Uh, runway 23 left for touch and go. Fox Charlie in 1976. So I only have one option. And you're going very fast. I'm going very fast. You're right. Yep. I'm going very fast. Not a good pattern. I also didn't get enough altitude right off the bat. So that was a wash. Fox Charlie 1976 on your next pass, make a right crosswind on runway two three left, and join the right downward for two three right. Fox Charlie 1976 say again. Fox Charlie 1976 on your upwind, you're gonna make a right crosswind departure to join the right downwind for runway two three right. Um. On your upwind. Yeah, no, I know. I just a, processing everything. I don't know how to say yep. it. Uh, on my on my upwind, uh, we're going. It, say it again. Yep. On your upwind, make a right crosswind departure. Okay. We join the right downwind for two, three, right. Can't do it. 
I'm s yeah. maybe my brain doesn't work this way. Um, on upwind. What is your upwind? No, I know. It, I know. I know. Like, I see the word upwind. I say on upwind, but I don't okay. know the little words around the big words that I need to know. Okay. On your upwind, make right make crosswind. Right crosswind to runway. To, uh, to, to, join, to, join, to join the right downwind. Right downwind of runway 23 right. Correct. So that's everything I told you. Just make a right and another right and get into the other run the right side of the other runway. Words are hard, uh, Ninja, but it is what it is. I mean, there's a, no, it's a just, manual it's too much has for to me. follow. Yeah. It's too much for me to process at times. Um, why couldn't I do that? I was so ready for it, and I just could not process. And then I saw Plutonium did a monkey emote, and all my brain could think of was emote, emote. The monkey? Emote, and hello, Plutonium. Like, I just, I just lost everything. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. Um, there's just... I don't know why I can't think that way. I don't know why my brain so won't right, think that way. So, right and right. Those were your key words right there. No, like I know. Right and and I right. could visualize it all. I knew you said on my upwind, turn right. Or, you can see he starts oh, off God. nice with a little paradiddle into a rolling Tiffany. And right lost there, already. boom, hi-hats himself. So where are you right now? Are you joining I'm, the right I'm downwind? right downwind of 2-3 right. Okay. But I'm too low. No, remember, there's no such thing as being too low. Yeah. You're working the pattern. As long as you're below 1,000 feet, you're fine. You can do the pattern at 500 feet above the ground, 200 feet, and you'll be fine. Be best training ever, Samako says. I mean, I just... it. If you give me one or two things, I'm good. When it's three things, and the three things have different variations of the same word, I'm out. And i that's what I got to get better at. And I don't know how to get better at it. And that was a simple runway change. No, I know. I know. Simple runway change. I just didn't know how to repeat the information. Because once I get Keep half of it, I don't remember the next half. Motherfucker. John. <laughs> Evening, John. Uh, so, hey, uh, midfield hey. downwind. All right, midfield downwind. Uh, runway, runway two, uh, three, right. Fox Sterling, one nineteen seventy six. Runway two, three, right. Cleared for the option. Uh, cleared for the option. Runway two, three, right. Fox Dude, Sterling, one nineteen seventy six. And hey, these are like these are uncommon stuff. But the reason why we're practicing it is because this is the most off guard that you're gonna get catched on, right? The uncommon stuff. And then ATC tells you something uncommon, and then that's where pilots panic. And I'm just saying this because that's what happened to me on my first few times on Vatson. Well, and Hapes, I feel like at this point I can do what Pilot Deviation is asking me to do if it's normal. It's the curveballs that I can't do. I've overshot. Um, Scott says, but you're a drummer. Both your feet do different things in both your hands. I can do all this physically, Scott. Um, it's it's trying to remember. It's like, do you remember that old game Simon Simon says, but it was the, the, the one with the lights uh, where you pressed boop, boop, and you had to press boop, boop, and go boop, 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 boop. And you'd get to like the 12th or 13th one in a row, and you'd try to remember them. By the time you got to the end there, you'd forgotten all of them. You're like, I don't know what this pattern is anymore. I feel like that's what it is for me. One fifty-three. Um, you're, you're not consistent here. No, I'm not. Well, tweak. It's. I got to get better at the phrasing, yes, but I couldn't even remember what he said. Say it again. Foster Lima 1976. Don't follow the instructions. I'm not. I'm repeat it. Yeah. Foster Lima 1976. On your upwind, make a right crosswind and join the right downwind for runway 23 right. That's so much. On your upwind, join the right downwind. No. God. I mean, you can just. You were on the right track, though. You could have just shortened the make right crosswind. Because at that point, you're understanding that, hey. I gotta get on the right side of the other run. That's all I need from you. I just need you to understand that I'm changing runways for you, 
and I'm changing your pattern. Yeah. No, I know. I know what you're doing. I just don't know how to repeat it. <laughs> um, even when you just said it, I still don't know. It, it, all it means is that when I go back and watch this VOD, I'm literally going to rewind that 20 times trying to remember what you said. And I don't know why it's that difficult. It's frustrating. And that's the problem, Scott's. Pilot Deviation is talking slow. I know he's talking slow. He's like, I on, your cross slow. Win, on your crosswind, join the... Yeah. Tip, stop focusing on the phraseology. Blue Yonder Thank says. you. Thank you. That's all I'm looking for. Like, you don't need to be perfect. You just need... I just need you to tell me that you understood the instruction. Okay, say it one Even more time then. Your own way. All right, say it one more time then. No, because give me one second, because we're going to do something different. going to do something different. Right All right, fine. Uh, uh, Fox Rally 1976, midfield downwind of 2 3, right? Fox Rally 1976, make left 360. Uh, make left 360, Fox Rally 1976. Midnight Fluting says, you can write stuff down too. I had to write down everything in the beginning. I also, mean, you're going very fast for a three sets. Yeah, I am going too fast. This this plane's got some juice. Um, I'm slowing down. Well, and 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 midnight. I've got I've got my pen and paper right here. Um. I might have to on those command on those long winded ones. I might have to write them down. But we had said last night. You know, you usually don't have time to write them down. But I might I might have to on those big ones. <laughs> Nomad says all planes have some juice when you're trying to do a pattern at full throttle. <laughs> okay, That's true, though. Not full throttle anymore. And yeah, 30 degrees. Um, Hape says go for the full 30 degree angle, too. I um, don't know how to tell if I'm at 30 degrees. Okay, so teaching moment right put it in a straight line and i'll let you know once you're straight back i'll let you know okay when you, you... okay i'm also way too low i've lost altitude by slowing down right so as tweak said you have some lines there on your uh, your primary flight display they want that's right in front of you is it the you white the, top? the white ones the, on the top the white lines yeah correct that's what i was looking at every, earlier. every line to your left is or right means ten degrees. Gotcha. gotcha. So the full the, the line that's longer so that's is your thirty, 30. degree. That's thirty yep. right there. Right there is thirty. That's a thirty degree. Got it. Okay. Right. Got it. Um Oreo says pilot phraseology doesn't have to be perfect as long as you repeat the instruction controller phraseology has to be perfect. Interesting. Hence my point. Yes. Interesting. That is correct. I just need you to let me know that you understood the instruction. That's all I need. Okay. My phraseology needs to be perfect, which is why I'm telling you the perfect phraseology for it. Okay. Well, but you don't need to read it back the same way. Okay. Well, um, we'll need more practice with that, and, and I might have to write things down. Uh, Bryce, you don't have to ask for a touch and go. Um, as long Australia as it's... 1976, make a left 360 on the inbound, join final for 2-3 right. Uh, left 360 on the inbound, join uh, final for 2-3 right, Fox Trotlima 1976. There you go. That wasn't a hard one. No, but I had to write it down anyway. Are you using shortcuts or are you just writing the full thing? Oh, I'm, I am I wrote down left 360, join final four. That's what I wrote. I never got a chance to write down the runway or, um, okay. you know. I mean, you can, you, can, you can just do like L half circle. And at that point, you know, it's like a 360 okay. or a full circle. Yes, yes. That's and a good tip. Put them in F the vault. I'm locking the for vault. final, the vault. two, three left. Okay. I probably wouldn't remember the F for final. You can create your own. Yeah, yes. you can just change it to something different. I, yes. You just need the quickest way to write down stuff. Okay. Um, there's a good YouTube video about it uh, uh, from a uh, for a pilot called uh, Aviation 101. He's a very he's a he's actually a CFI. He's a certified flight instructor, and he did some tips on data writing down instructions. 
Going I'll way see too if fast. I can link it to you. Going way too fast again. I tend Did you to overshoot again? No, I I'll be okay. I, my 360, I didn't start my 360 in front of the runway. Um and so that caused me to be off to the side. Fox Lima 1976, go around. Uh going around Fox Lima 1976. You can blame Defiant for that one. Say that again. You can blame Defiant for that. I can blame Defiant for that one. Yes, I see you down there, Defiant, and I like how you're watching. Seeing. Now remember, go around means full power. Yeah, I'm pitch full power. Up, yep. I'm, I'm, pitch up and get out of the way. I'm full power, but I'm not completely pitched up. You don't need to be fully pitched up. Just get out to the to a safe altitude and just get out of the way. Okay. Defiant Braun. <laughs> so when do you, for go around, when is it okay to uh, stop getting out of the way? Um, usually, I would say as, 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 fast as you can pretty much because the go around procedure is just to get you out of the way right but how do i know when so, i'm out of the way right so you if you ran out of runway just make the turn okay yeah i'm over the runway now so that's usually a safe altitude to get out of the way now atc might issue you an instruction quicker i was gonna do that but then i decided not to do it. so just make your regular pattern like and then just come back now, for a go around, would they be mad that I've gone over the thousand feet for patterns? Is it though? Did you go over? Uh, it was supposed to be four thirty, and I was like fourteen eighty. No, that's fine. You're just getting out of the way. Okay. Fox Rotlingman 1976, midfield downwind, runway 23 right. Fox Rotlingman 1976, change to runway 23 left, runway 23 left, clear for the option. Uh, change 23 left, runway 23 left, cleared for option. Fox Rotlingman 1976. That's why you always leave. See, that was perfect. Now you're gonna, gonna maintain that downwind because I did not tell you to change your pattern leg. Right. Now you're gonna just base and final for 23 left. But Everything then when else, I'm. When I'm done with two three left, do I still do a right downwind? Is that what you're saying? A right traffic once pattern? On, once, once you're in two three left, you're gonna get a different instruction. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. So you should get another uh, CD pattern instruction, but if not, just go with whatever was published when we first found the airport, which is left pattern. Okay. I love that CD. That's why you leave a note. That's right. I, I maybe I have more luck when I write things down, but uh. I need to get to where I don't need to do that for some of these small instructions. Yes, supersonic, Arrested Development. Nomad says, you would know what's up with the other aircraft due to comms, and ATC would likely have you space, so that doesn't happen. Yeah, Pilot Deviation is just trying to get me to uh, be ready for anything, honestly. Also, go arounds are a normal thing IRL too, so it, it, the spacing doesn't really matter. Um, on Vatim, I have had multiple occasions where I have to send people around because the guy who was in front was separated enough, but then they became separated for some reason. Separation doesn't stay throughout. There's different stuff that changed. That was two three. Right. Could have been bad. I just want to get better at it. Deviation 
contact Los Angeles <laughs> Tower as soon as you're able. Let me know when you're ready to copy a phone you number. Cut me off. E map. <laughs> Correct, Nomad Ninja. That's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to be ready for any type of situation. So when we do hit Bat Sim, um, you know, it's not a surprise. My landings have only gotten worse. Foster Lima 1976, join left traffic for runway 23 left. Join left traffic runway, runway 23 left, Foxtrot Lima 1976. Oh, Jake, sorry, I thought it was Amtrak for some reason. My bad. Oh, no, he's United. I'm sorry, you're right, Amtrak is United. Sorry, Jake. What's up, Redbeard? A full stop clearance with a lasso. See how he does. Lasso is land and hold short of. Not we legendary already, all skulls on. We uh, we haven't done a lasso, though. We need to add an airport to do one of those. Yeah, uh, we... We had lasso at um, Las Vegas, didn't we? Or well, no? Kinda. kinda. No, we explained the concept. We didn't actually went through the phraseology of. That's true. Yeah, we didn't actually do a lasso. That's true. We talked about it with uh, was it Miami? Miami has you, a you pulled, lasso runways. Yeah, pulled one. You told us to pull one up. Mm -hmm. uh, New York also has lasso runways. John F. Kennedy. Plato says you'd get fewer of these curveballs flying IFR. Though VFR is probably more compatible with how you like to fly on your streams. Well, but I am going to do IFR, Plato. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Fox Charlie Lima 1976, midfield downwind of runway 23, right? Fox Charlie Lima 1976, verify you're on 23, right or 23 left? Uh, correction, runway 23 left, Fox Charlie Lima 1976. Foster Lima 1976, extend your downwind, I'll call your base. Uh, extending downwind, we'll wait for you to call our base, Fox Lima 1976. See, you said it in your own words, but you still got the message there. It still worked. Yep, it still worked. Okay. Going too fast. Foster Lima 1976, traffic to follow, so Cessna 152, he's turning base now. Runway 23 left, clear for the option. Um, cleared for the option, runway 23 left. Uh, we see that traffic, traffic in sight. Is that okay or did End I... End call sign. End call sign. And Fox Trailman 1976. Nice. That's all you need. Yeah, that was a good I, one. I'm I, happy with that one. I know you see the traffic. I know what you're doing. You know, that's it. You're maintaining the separation. Nomad said, uh, seriously, Flig, I just started on VATSIM 2 with little training, uh, three-fourths of a semester back in 98, so I get the jitters, but relax, most of the controllers are pretty cool. Yeah, Nomad Ninja, I know. Um, but, I'll, you know, it's a lot of pressure. Also, we, we're doing it on stream. I don't know how many people learn VATSIM while streaming. Now let me ask you this, based on the two training exercises we've done, do you feel comfortable with a normal pattern on the network? Yeah, probably. Okay. I think you're ready for a normal pattern on the network. Like you won't get curveballs thrown right. unless you're at a very busy airport with right. a lot of traffic. Right, right. Also, if you tell them in the notes that you're new to VATSIM, they'd probably yep. try to take They'll it easy on you. Easy. Yeah. 
<laughs> Plato says one of the New York controllers called me probably the most prepared pilot in the history of AtSim and still get jittery. It's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of self-teaching in, in VATSIM and in aviation in general, just... Julian... We, sorry, real quick. Julian says, do you do that number two following behind in the U.S.? We did talk about that last night with number two, right? Yep. You can do it, I ever. Actually, in, in, you, in, in the United States, controllers can clear 10 people to land on the same runway, something you cannot do in other countries. Okay. Midnight Fluting says, today I was number four. Nice. Very busy. <laughs> John, can you do it? Yeah, probably. Cool. Here's your license. <laughs> uh, Blue Yarner says, yeah, in Canada, they will tell you you are number two, but will not clear you to land. Right, same as every other country that's not United States. So ICAO phraseology states that the runway has to be completely clear in order for an, a controller to clear the next traffic going for the run. Should all of these turns be 30 degrees? Yes. Okay. Your your pattern light should be as square as you can. Okay. Oreo, to uh, add to your statement, there's a lot of real-world controllers that go to bats, and they don't go as hard as non-real world controllers but they they do go on bats and i know a few of them fox riley 1976 midfield downwind runway two three right left 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 fox riley 1976 runway two three left cleared for the option except stop and go uh runway two three left cleared for the option except stop and go fox riley 1976 Do you have traffic on the final? Um, formable seeker, kinda. It's hard to tell. It looks like he's too high. Say correction if you make a mistake in your transmission and want to amend it. Thank you, CD. Correct. Correction. Two, three, left. There you go. I don't know why I'm getting confused now with which runway I'm doing. You got so confused that your frame started dropping. Oh, did they? Oh, dear. You know what? My frames in the sim are great. It's the... It's my NDI. If this guy was an air traffic controller, that sucks. he'd be landing planes at the wrong freaking airport. Because the sim looks great. Um, it's something with how it's getting to you all. In fact, OBS looks pretty good. Now it got fit. Yeah, that's weird. Must have been just a little bit of a hitch. So, Nomad Ninja, full stop, touch and go, or um, uh, low approach. wasn't paying attention, so it's going to be a, a later landing, but we've got a long runway to go, so that's okay. I was looking at those bad frames. That's a better landing. GG Walk Ninja. What's really my 1976? On your upwind leg, join the left downwind for runway 3-2. Uh, Fox Runway 19... Uh, I should say it at the end. On our upwind, we'll join the left downwind for runway three did you say runway three two um hold on uh fox runway 1976 runway yeah runway three two what's your name 1972 uh 1976 affirmative join the left downwind for runway two three two join the left so yeah join the left so i still have to turn left here Roar! Mm -hmm. so i kind of said that okay you did say it perfectly, except you kind of doubt it. 
And if you doubt, just just say confirm runway three two. Confirm runway three two, because that I not knowing these runways enough. Like if I were right. my, if I were at my home airport, I would know the numbers, but. And Fonzer Lima nineteen seventy sets runway three two clear touch and go. Runway three two clear touch and go Fox Lima nineteen seventy six. And Foster Lima nineteen seventy six. Your number two following a one seventy two on short final. Uh, number two following a one seventy two on short final. Or runway three two Fox Lima nineteen seventy six. I might be confused in that. I don't know if he's going for three well, two or that, not. We'll we'll pl say he is. Number two behind that 172, that was formable seeker. He might be going around. That's okay. At least we were ready for it just in case. So it was on the upwind, join the left downwind to runway 32. Was it left downwind or left cross path, left crosswind? No, at this point you should be on final for three two. No, I'm just saying earlier. I was trying to repeat uh, in my left mind. Down, left, left down one, yeah. Left, left down, down one for three two. For yeah. three two, yeah. What you said earlier. I was just trying to remember what you said. Terror, hey, what's up? <laughs> Formable secret says I'm just doing circles. Okay. Thank Captain. Thanks, Captain AS007. Captain Us, 007. I didn't do it. Uh, this was, uh, was this Brace Yourself, Walk Ninja, or Dry Turkey? I get him confused. <laughs> Emav's just floating in the F-35. So this is the short... 4,000 foot runway. GGPP, one off. So now you haven't given me a new cross pattern, or a new circuit pattern, or pattern, closed pattern is what I mean, right? Right. So am I still on the closed pattern for 2-3 two, two, left? Yep, you need to go back to 2-3 left. So I have to turn immediately and go that way. I mean, you're you're still fine. You need to do your upwind, right, and then go back to the pattern you were. Is this bad? What I'm doing right now? Nope, just run parallel. I would say get in the middle of the runway. Okay, over the runway. And okay. then and then just continue your pattern as you were doing. The 172 was dry turkey. Okay, Wag Ninja. She's starting to shimmy. She's starting to, to shimmy. shimmy. That's actually how they fly at IRL, so you're fine. Okay. I was just uh, it's always weird weirds me out when I'm right over the airport. Climbed a little too much there, but that's okay. Fox Trot, let me in 1976 midfield downwind runway, runway 23 left. Fox Trot, let me in 1976 runway 23 left, clear for the option. Runway 23 left, cleared for the option. Fox Trot, let me in 1976. Now, at that point, is it too late to request a full stop? Nope, you just passed the information. So, uh, Fox Trot, let me in 1976, this is going to be a full stop. Okay. That's it. You're still clear for the option. You can do the full stop. <laughs> Just let them know so they're aware. Okay. Um, Fox Shell 1976. Um, we just say request a full speech. stop. Plain, no, plain speech. Plain speech. 
Uh, Monster Link in 1976, this is going to be a full stop. You're not requesting anything. You already got clear for the option, so you can legally do it just okay. passing on information. All right. Fox Charlie in 1976, this is going to be a full stop. Fox Charlie in 1976, roger. And Fox Charlie in 1976, you're number two following a Cessna turning final right now. Well, number two, traffic in sight, Fox Charlie in 1976, runway 23 left. I said that backwards. Dang it. Mm -hmm. You just need to call the traffic. That's it. Just need to call the traffic. Yeah, because you got cleared for the option already. That's so true. You're clear. I don't have to yep. say the yep. runway. Nope. You just need to call the traffic. I don't even have so to say my call to say sign. Tra traffic inside Fox Charlie in 1976. Okay. Got it. Man, I'm gonna figure this out. Most of the readbacks, plain speech works well, um, especially for for those weird instructions. Just go with plain speech. Just go how you feel it, as you understood it. As long as the controller understood, like, you let them know that you understood the instruction. Okay. doesn't matter how you read it back. Okay. Just read it back. Okay. Just don't stay quiet like a lot of people do. Sure. Are you going to land on top of them? No, that might be the first go around in Fliggity Airlines history. Call it. Call it. Uh, Fox Charlie 1976, uh, go around. Fox Charlie 1976, Roger. Join the left downwind for 2 3 left, report midfield. Uh, left downwind, 2 3 left, will report midfield downwind. Fox Charlie 1976. So if you're going around, immediately call it as you're applying full power and climbing back up. Okay. <laughs> Walk Ninja. Fliggity air doing a go around. Unheard of. <laughs> yeah. Trying to not render immersion here, folks. Yeah, we're trying. That's right. We're, we're trying to. You know, I didn't want to land right on him. We're trying to do this the right way. <laughs> Altitude is still good. Not going too fast. Now we're going too fast. I'm going to say this wrong too. Fox Charlie 1976, midfield downwind, runway 23 left, uh, going for full stop. Fox Charlie 1976. Roger, you're number two following a, uh, I'm guessing that's a diamond on uh, final runway two, three left, clear land. Uh, traffic in sight, Fox Charlie 1976. Runway two, three left, clear land. I do, runway, two, uh, do I have to say, did I have to say runway two, three left? You do, because it's a clearance. Crap. See, last time I didn't have to say it, this time I do. Because you were clear for the option. F. <laughs> I'm never going to remember this stuff. Remember, uh, instructions to read back. Information you don't. Uh, Formable Seeker says it was nice flying with you. Me and a group of friends are going to go view the world. Thanks for having me fly. No worries, Formable Seeker. I know this isn't the most scenic, but it is a good airport to fly at. I do like the airport. Uh, Samako says this is the best training. I wish I was flying with this guy. You mean pilot deviation, not me, right? He is helping me a ton, and I hope you all. Not me. I'm not doing anything. PC load letter. Oh no. What the fuck does that Blue mean? yonder. Frame drops on the stream seem to be seem sides seem to be only visible outside the aircraft. Captain, I'll do that. Uh, I'll accept that later. So when I do that, let's see what it does. I don't know. Maybe it's just more noticeable outside. Also, this is a photorealistic area, I believe, so that also could have something to do with it. There are five lakes and ten miles. With I think with buildings is what we're talking about. Yeah, I don't know, Walk Ninja. Maybe it's just the area. I don't know. Oh, look at Misty. Vane Neptune. We haven't seen Misty in like a year.
GGPP again. Sorry, Hapes. Okay. Foster Lima nineteen seventy six, contact ground point niner. Ground point niner, Foxtrot Lima nineteen seventy six. Rally Durham Ground. Fox Shot Lima, 1976. Uh, I guess, I, yeah, I'm, I, I'm saying who it is. So, Rally Durham Ground. Fox Shot Lima, 1976. Just vacated runway 23 left. You um, son of a bitch. I should have looked at this earlier. Um, I'm back. Oh, my gosh. There's Misty. Welcome back, Misty. Ten months. How are you doing, Misty? Where have you been? Uh, just vacated runway 23 left. Um, holding short on taxiway Alpha. Uh, requesting... Uh, taxi to uh, ramp. Fox Charlie 1976. Fox Charlie 1976. You can taxi to the general aviation ramp via Alpha. Okay. Taxi ramp via Alpha. Uh, general aviation. I said that. God. Uh, taxi There's ramp. There's no right or wrong. Okay. Taxi rate. Taxi weighted uh, ramp. Say it one more time. You, 1976, you can taxi to the general aviation ramp via alpha taxiing to ramp at general aviation via taxiway alpha Fox Charlie 1976 have a good day see hape simplified it for you ramp via alpha that's it i i want to say every word you say no then then that's where you're wrong i'm doing it on purpose <laughs> that's where you're wrong <laughs> that's where you're wrong okay this is these are exercises so you don't worry about the phraseology remember i just need to understand that you understood the information i told what's up stork man jake says the one thing i could say is this you have the same right to the runway the same right to the controllers and the same right to the air as many jet blue as any jet blue ever flown so act like you own the mf -er. your language is offensive fuck you <laughs> i didn't I say mean, it he's not you. wrong he's not wrong yeah yeah act like you own it Misty, where have you been? My gosh, I saw you just fly right on by. Well, Storkman, we're 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 trying. We're trying. We're not on the network yet, but we're we're trying. Okay, we're gonna go there. That's our parking lot over there. So at this point, radio communications are done, correct? For pattern work? Yes, they are. For pattern work. As in, um, if I just go park the plane, turn it off, we're done. Yep, we're done. Yeah, okay. <sighs> I've learned a little. Uh, not learned. I've retained a little. I need to keep retaining more. Do you think you can do the real thing? Maybe. I don't know. So, Blue Yonder pointed out that Minneapolis is open, but we're not going to the international one. If you want to go there... We can get you a small class Delta airport. Okay, we'll look into it. Uh, welcome back, Misty. I'm glad you're back. Tara says you are more than ready. We'll see. We'll see. We'll uh, we'll look into um, the Vatsim map and see what's open. I know that Blue Yonder said KMSP is open and dead. Actually, the approach is open, so we can pick any sector inside the approach. And I'm looking for a smaller airport than the international one that you can do some pattern work. And they would still talk to us? Of course. It's top down. It's top down. It's approach. It's center mm -hmm. is what you're saying. No, it's approach. Center goes a level above. Approach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Center's higher than approach. Okay, so approach would do that as well. Okay. All right. 
park right here. Okay. All right, so that was 41 minutes of practice on pattern flying and talking. So stressful. So let's pull up the map. Oh, by the way, I also um, applied for that wings program. I did the little test and did the application for it. So maybe I can do that as well on stream sometimes. Nice. We'll see how that goes. Uh, apparently gets you all like it. Okay. So, all right. If you want to do some uh, pattern work around Minneapolis, I can suggest KSTP, which is St. Paul Airport. Um, it's a municipal airport. It's a class delta. It is towered, but it's a class delta. This is William yeah. Polly, is the name, right? He's been That's going the controller name. Yep. He's doing approach. He's been going for 22 minutes. Mm -hmm. And what was the airport? KSTP. KSTP. Okay. It's right outside of the uh, inner ring of the Minneapolis class, bro. Okay. So, um, this is the, well, I would pull it up, but it won't let me. Um, so it has a few runways, 1432, 1331, and 927. That one's 3,600 feet. This one's 4,000 feet, and that one's 6,400 feet. So the longest runway is 6,400. Uh, traffic patterns are left, 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 and then the only one here, runway 27, is a right. So that could be interesting. So... Now let's look at the wind um, for KSTP. You can pretty much figure out more or less what run we're I'm locking the vault. It's a vault. Which is obviously the controllers are always going to opt for the biggest runway, mm -hmm. um, especially on these small airports. They're not. There's not a lot of commercial traffic. So it is an eight knot wind uh, from 160. Right. So what's your closest runway to that? Uh, it's probably going to be runway 14. Correct. So runway so one four is the longest runway. Longest it's it's sixty five hundred feet. Yep, and it's a left elevation seven hundred and four feet. Okay, so and the weather is actually good. Um, the sky is clear. Look at that runway. Look at that. That's pretty nasty. So, do you have any parkings on the north side? Maybe that's the closest area. Yeah. GA area is right there next to 14 to the northeast side. So 14 is here. Uh, yep, we'll probably the, want like, ramp. This would be the easiest, right? Like, boom. There you go. That's GA parking. That's GA parking, yeah. So it's. I think we would do that and hope no one else was parked there, which probably not. Also, turn off the uh, MSFS traffic, because if not, you're going to get confused. Uh, does that mean I won't see people flying that are in the stream? Uh, yes, they would have to be on VATSIM, because if not, you're going to confuse traffic. That is my suggestion. I mean, you can keep them on, but um, once you're flying maybe for in my, busy Maybe airspaces, for my first flight. Yeah, for your first flight, you can, you know... I would say turn it off for now. Actually, we yeah, do just that. turn off. We turn off uh, here. I do that here. Yeah, traffic. Turn off AI traffic. And... Well, AI is off, right? I'm off. Right. Right. Um, it's right here. Multiplayer. Do I need to do this off? Is that what it is? I think you do. Yes. At least for this for this flight. Well, well Plato we says them. if you keep them on, the way to differentiate is VATSIM traffic will not have labels. It does get confusing though. Right. So My, you will get confused and be like, uh, we have an aircraft in front of us. We can't taxi. Right. Because it's happened to me a dozen times. Okay, that makes sense. So I would have to turn to group off, probably. Mm -hmm. Group off. Or group only. We'll try that for this flight, and we'll see what happens. Misty says you won't be confused. Well, at this point, no one, no one's probably there anyway. But for my first flight, maybe it's best to... to do that. 
You can just invite viewers to group. Yeah, but then I would see them just like I would normally, right? That would still yeah. be confusing, wouldn't it? Yeah, at that point, the people in the group would need to be on Vatim as well, and then at that point, it's the same thing. Um, so while this is loading, let's open up vPilot to make sure you're set up correctly and all your settings are right. Right. Okay, uh, I did see that approach was 124.7. Um, yep. so I was already going to go on and put it on there, but... I don't think I can do it yet, so hold on. Well, let me switch. There we go, let me switch. Okay, so I'm on 124.7. Um, so, let's open up vPilot. And let's hit connect. And we are in a C-172 Skyhawk. Did we just become best friends? Yep! Wife and I both picked Kentucky to Final Four. Oh, gosh. So, duck you know, do it. Uh, Dave, thank you for the 33 months. Tweet. Oh, dear. Jake, thank you. Walk Ninja, you're right. You're right. Wow. Thank you all. Jake, thank you for the five. Super nice of you. That's a dollar a minute for simming at my airport. Well, Jake, so thank you. Before you connect to the network, let's just check your settings first. Make sure you have everything right and okay. there's nothing missing. Yeah, we'll look at settings. Thank you again, Jake. Appreciate that. Um, is this the aerobic championships? Glegor, it was. Yeah. Okay. So let's see... Uh, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Automatically squawk we mode C on takeoff. We want yes. that to be yes. Speed check. Yep. Acklins, thanks for the follow. Welcome. That's a very handy tool. Um, anything else for now should be fine. Make sure your audio set up correctly. Yeah, I've done. Uh, so check. You can see my microphone going, and um, and we'll know our our um, output works um, when we start hearing them. So, do you prefer to disable ATC sound effects? Yes, I do for now. Um, I want to be able to hear them clearer for now until I'm more comfortable. Okay. Just for, for now. Me, it's just, for me, it just helps to differentiate, you know, especially since I'm going to be talking next to you. Uh -huh. So, you don't get confused between my voice and them. I okay. mean, yeah. it's not like, it's up to you, but... I, I'm okay with it. I'll uh, hopefully I'll be able to tell your all's voices apart. You'll be apart. If anything, I'll I'll be I'll be here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, disable. Right, so, yeah. Uh, five, yeah. Seven. You're good for now. Later on, we'll talk about adding, you know, CSLs and and AI traffic and stuff like that. Um. Apply, okay. And then you can connect. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, we were. Gleiger, thank you. So much for the gift sub to Terror. Sax man, good night. Take care, Sax. Um, okay, so let's see. Connect. There we are. We are connected. Um, so you can see. Um, here's our uh, our ATIS 135.350. If you double click that, it'll just give you the info here. Yep, but that's for Minneapolis International, which you're not at. So that ATIS doesn't serve you no purpose. So I wouldn't have info? Nope. You would just grab the METAR. So I can't and say with point, information something. I just can't say it. You can say with the numbers, right? So the numbers means you have weather information. You don't have ATIS information. Okay. So it would be something like uh, Foster Lima 1970 sits uh, Cessna 172 at the GA ramp with the numbers looking for power. So you just say with the numbers? Yep, with the numbers or with weather, it's also acceptable. So that just lets them know you have weather information, but you don't have ATIS information or anything like that. Or with the weather, yeah. Um, Gleiger, thank you again for the gift sub to Terror. Um, and Jake, thank you again. Uh, oh, Misty, he's not killing the fun at all. He's teaching me. 
He's being very patient. Um, okay, so let me move this. So for this flight, let's just make this guy's life easy and make a flight plan, right? Let's file a flight plan and let's just, you know. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Um, so we'll do VFR. Uh, we are at KSTP. Yep, and your um, destination is the same airport. Yep, and then our alternate airport. You can leave that blank. You can leave it blank, okay. And then departure, departure time, time, you can leave blank. You can also leave you can, blank. You can leave all that in blank. Yes. And we'll say, but we'll say 30 minutes, right? No, I mean, you can leave all those in blank because those don't really matter. That controller, we as controllers, we don't see that. You don't see it anyway. Okay. I need about we see minutes. it like on flight strips, but we rarely use flight strips. Um, your cruise altitude is going to be a thousand feet. Okay. Because that's pattern work. Pattern altitude, sorry. Um, your route, just clear that out. And then just write on the route pattern work. Yep. There you go. And that's all you need. Okay. Just hit file and you're good. Yep. So we file. It'll say flight plan filed. So, um,. Did uh yes, Hapes did uh that right now. Um it looks like two niner nine or six. Uh um, I got a nine or seven. Let's oh do you change. Okay. Oh no, it just changed to nine or six. You're okay. right. Okay. Um let me pull up these charts first. Uh which VATSIM server? Is there more than one? No, there's not. It doesn't make a difference. The servers on VATSIM are just to balance the load. So Nomad, uh, yeah, we're on the West USA server for Flight Sim, but VATSIM is all just one server. It doesn't, Nomad, it doesn't matter if you go to East, West, Singapore. I would suggest you go into the nearest to you, to your actual location, your physical location, because then you, uh, your, your ping is going to be less. Okay, so we're here. We're assuming he's going to say runway 14 uh, via taxiway Echo. The elevation here is 705. Um, let me go on, and this was 96. It's pretty darn close to 705. Um, there are plural VATSIM servers. You should go to the nearest one, though, as you just said, Kev says. Uh, I'm on East. That's true. That's true. I am on East. I do remember that now. Um, yep, because that's the closest to your house. Um, there it is. That's, you're right. You're right. I'm on USA East. That's correct. I'm so sorry. There are different servers. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but it doesn't matter to uh, to Vatsim because they're just load servers. They're not like separate servers. Okay. Um, and now, check this out. Look at this. There we are. It says our elevation, 700 feet, KSTP to KSTP. It says the flight plan at the bottom, our call sign, and what plane we're flying. So there we are. And here's where I'm going to go crazy because now i got to unmute this stream and just listen <laughs> to the controller. I don't know how to use voice meter um, to put audio into Discord. So yeah. No, that's fine. I'll just unmute and remute. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go mode C is already good. Uh, 124.7, we're already on um, that. We should, if I click this, I guess it doesn't matter. I, we should hear him at some point if he's talking Just, to anybody. You, but you can call to her for a radio check now if you want before okay, even you request the clearance. Information Hotel is current at Minneapolis. Minneapolis altimeter 299 or 5. He said two nine or nine or five. Um, yeah, he just talked, so I will do that in a second. But um, let me um, let me do a radio check. So this is um, St. Paul ground. Uh, just call approach. Just say Minneapolis approach, and then your That's call true. sign radio. Check. That's true. We're not on St. Paul ground. We're it's Minneapolis approach. It's not St. Paul ground. Oh dear. Okay. Oh. Look at that back there. I didn't know this was a photorealistic area. Cool. All right. Um, so. Uh, Minneapolis approach. Um, 
Foxtrot Lima 1976 radio check. Foxtrot Lima 1976, Minneapolis approach. You're loud and clear. Uh, Minneapolis approach, thank you. Uh, we have the numbers uh, Skyhawk 172 um, at the GA ramp requesting taxi for pattern. Fox Rebellion 1976. Uh, so if you want to simulate uh, as if the tower is open, uh, we can do that. Um, ordinarily at this time of night, St. Paul Tower would be closed at this time of night. In the real world, they close at 10 o'clock local. But we can uh, we can do it simulating it as if it's open for you. Runway 14, taxi via Echo. Uh, runway 14, taxi via Echo. Fox Charlie, 1976. Okay, are we good so far? You're very good. Nothing out of the order. Okay, and that, you know he gave us some detail about. You know, he's fine to do it. Um. Right. So some cell towers close in the real world. Um, if workload permits, as controllers, we'll open them. So since he doesn't have basically any traffic, he's more than happy to open sure. it for you. So. Sure. Now let's get going. Okay. A little nerve wracking. Um. Just just think you're talking to me. It's the same thing as you were talking to me. Nothing changed. ATC volume is very low. Not sure if you can do anything about that. Um, I don't... I don't think I can do anything about that. Do you hear it fine on your headset? It's a little quiet, but not much. If I go to settings and You can audio, turn it on B-Pilot. Oh, hold on. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Output volume. I'm, I'm raising. I'm raising. Yeah, in V-Pilot. That should help. That should help. Uh, you should let him know it's your first flight and transmission. Please don't. 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 No, you already put it in the flight plan. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, ATC was a bit quiet. It's okay. So uh, we've got runway 14 via Echo. We knew that would probably be the case. Um, so then... Um, That's um, it's just gonna be right there to the left, isn't it? Yep, that's it right there. Okay. ATC thinks you passed out. About to get an FUI. What's an FUI? nerve-wracking you all hey what's this um is i'm nine or seven six are you gonna be ready or do you, need, do you still need to run up we are running up to the runway right now minneapolis approach fox trot lima 1976 i mean do you need to do your engine run up uh short of the runway or did you do it up, did you do it on the ramp uh we did it on the ramp fox trot lima 1976 Skyhawk 976, make left close traffic, runway 14, wind 150 at 9 or runway 14, clear for takeoff. Left close traffic, runway 14, clear for takeoff. Fox Charlie, 1976. That was perfect. Yes. He threw me off with engine work on the ramp. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's, he's just asking for a run up. Okay, do I need to hold short? Nope, you're okay. clear for takeoff. All right, I didn't think so. But he he kind of talked to me before I, I got there, so. Uh, left, closed traffic, runway 14. We're doing it. <laughs> just remember to call midfield on each path. Yeah, so he didn't say anything. I'm just going to do it. It's expected. Yep.
Uh, S. Davis, I don't know what the slop top mod is. Thank you, Hapes, for answering for me. Elevation here was 700 feet. It's pretty out here. So we got up about 400 feet. Here's a 30 degree turn. We got one! Uh, we did say cleared for takeoff, John. Uh, Styling Guy USA, thank you. Oh! Did I put in... Yeah, I did. I did put in the uh, runway on my VOR, just in case. Today is so much better than yesterday. Well, I mean, I hope that every day gets a little bit better, Wormhole. Foxtrot Lima, 1976, midfield downwind, runway 14. Skyhawk 976, runway 14, cleared for the option, wind 1509. Runway 14, cleared for the option, flight Foxtrot Lima, 1976. There you go, as simple as that. Nice. And <laughs> John, styling is you should probably practice from inside views only. Yeah, I know, but it's really hard for me to see. I know, I know I should do that. I know I should. Look at the snow here. I just can't see. Like, how can I see through this? <laughs> Look, Will. I don't want to make a mistake. I just can't see anything. Like, there's no... I can't see. We'll do it live. Um, just got to send, I've been putting my VOR line, but I didn't do it. That was one thing that I forgot to do. So at least I know it's, it's 150, um, is the heading 147 or so is the heading of this runway. Um, I don't know. I'm supposed to be using VFR. I'm not really supposed to be using my compass. I'm supposed to be using just what I see outside. GG tweak. Yeah, I assume so, Gumbo. Yeah, I'm. I'm really struggling to find find things to look for. I mean, obviously, you know, the end of the runway is easy. But, like, I can't see much with this view. Maybe if I zoom out. You can and should use your heading indicator to align your turns 90 degrees each time. Okay. Right. So, basic math. 15 minus 90. Mm-hmm. 60. There you go. 60 so, 60 is, is perpendicular. Here. Yep. 60, and then the opposite of 15 is 3... Would be 18, right? Or No, no. at that point it's 3... 
It's remember you're based on three sixty degrees. Yeah. Um. So one four is gonna be 30. about seventy degrees. And then three thirty ish. Yeah, three. Well, one four opposite is three two, so three twenty three thirty. Yep. Styling guy says raise the seat. I know, I know. Sometimes I raise it too high, and I just see this thing. So for the next flight, you should just store some views that just take you in front of that like pole that you have to your left. Mm -hmm. Like kind of do this. Vertical. Yeah, like oh, like crap. if you were on the plane okay, and just hold scooting on, over. Hold on, one five zero niner runway one four cleared for the option. Runway one four cleared for the option. Fox runway nineteen seventy six. He said it uh, before I got a chance. I was getting ready. There you go. Sorry, I was getting ready to uh, reach out to him. Sometimes that's gonna happen. Okay. Good thing he was doing his job. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I was uh, too busy dealing with directions, and I was getting ready to reach out to him, but. Um, Turn it 30 degrees. What's the biggest cash you've ever gotten in one click on Twitch? Uh, I don't I don't know. Maybe a hundred? I know Extreme Builder did Um He's done 50 gift subs at once. So we're cleared for the option. Um, obviously, he's not gonna he's not gonna throw us. I mean, he sees in the flight plan new Vatsim pilot, so he knows. Um, but he's not gonna throw us any curveballs. So we'll do one more, and on this one, we'll say. Um, you know, uh, Fox Shuttleman, 1976, midfield downwind, runway 14, uh, going for um, final approach. Is it final approach? Full stop. Full, full stop. stop. Full stop. I knew to start with an F. Yep. If he calls you before, just let clear yourself for the option, like read back the clear for the option, and just say this is going to be a full stop at the end, and that's it. Okay. Silent Guy says, don't assume anything. You're right. You're right, Silent Guy. Do not. You're right. Don't assume. Minneapolis approach. This is Mooney Ovation November 1334 over here in uh, St. Paul. Looking for uh, some pattern work. Aircraft calling Minneapolis approach. Sega. Say again, call sign. And Minneapolis approach is Mooney Ovation, November 1337. Mooney 337, Minneapolis approach. Uh, and you said you want a pattern work at St. Paul? At Minneapolis approach, that's correct, at St. Paul, November 1337. Mooney 337, St. Paul altimeter 2996, the wind 150 at 9er, runway 14, taxi via Echo. November 1337, Taxi via Echo, Old Sharp. Hmm. What a jerk. <laughs> I honestly thought he was messing with me in our Discord voice. Oh, it's Blue Yonder, Glegger. I thought he joined our voice chat in Discord. Hold on. No, I, I saw him in after Hold on. a while. Hold on. Fox Shot Lima, 1976, midfield downwind, runway 14. Skyhawk Niner 76, runway 14, cleared for the option. Wind 150 Niner. Runway 14, cleared for the option. Fox Chartley 1976. I'm not doing a full stop right now. I want to see what Blue Yonder has in store for me. <laughs> I was getting ready to do a full stop, but <laughs> I want to see what happens. Ooh, that wind. 
Oh, I really, I really thought he was in our Discord. No, he's not my controller. He's flying on the on the same location, Raven. And I looked over, and he was like, "He's not in here. Where is he talking from?" I was like, "My goodness." He is in. He is in this same airport. I'm gonna next time I'll plug in my VOR line better. To hog all the glory. <laughs> and is he in the F-35? So, so there's no nameplates for VATSIM, is that right? Nope. So I don't look... <laughs> he's on a Mooney, though. He's not in the, on the F-35. He's in a Mooney, okay. Is that him on the left? I can't tell. Mooney 337. It is. When 1509 er make. Oh, standby. Uh, traffic is on short final. That's right. We are. That's right. Walk Ninja, I mean, Blue Yonder. Wait your damn turn. Mooney 337 behind the Skyhawk, runway 14, line up and wait. Line up and wait. Take your time. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. <laughs> That's too funny. I love it, though. One through three, seven. Oh, line of one. Yeah, Glegger. I'm not even... Uh, the circuit itself, the pattern, needs work. It needs work, Glegger. I'm very distracted. Yeah, Defiant. No, they probably see this. They probably see people do this, where you know, friends might want to fly on the same network or something. Yep, this is completely normal. Lufthansa 1532 Heavy, Minneapolis approach. Go ahead. A Minneapolis Tower just signed on, so you can call him when you're ready for taxi. We'll go, thank you. Mooney 337, make left close traffic, runway 14, wind 1509, runway 14, cleared for takeoff. November 1337, clear takeoff, 14. Uh, Ring Police, hello, good evening, how are you? Yeah, I don't want to put the, uh, the radio effects right now. It would be even harder for me to understand. Foxtrot Lima, 1976, midfield downwind, runway 14, uh, requesting full stop. Skyhawk 976, traffic's a Mooney, departing runway 14, wind 1509, or runway 14, cleared to land. Traffic in sight, runway 14, cleared to land, Foxtrot Lima, 1976. But do you have the traffic in sight? I mean... I mean, let's just say I yes, I see him. I see him. He's up in the air. He's right there. But you said you had him before you even looked outside. I know. Okay. But I've been monitoring his transmissions. Yeah, you're right. I'm <laughs> Walk Ninja says liar. Liar! <laughs> I know. I should I should have found him. I should have found him, you're right. But I did know where he was. Jeez. You still didn't have him inside, though. I am so high right here. Jeez. What are you we doing? Always go I've... around. No. No, we're good. We're good. This plane lands itself, almost. Uh, I did read back the runway Oreo, right? I did say runway 14, cleared to land, traffic in sight. We now know Fleet Air does Number do go around. seven is down with left hand 14. Mooney 337, continue. Traffic will be a uh, full stop. I'll have your landing clearance for you uh, before you can get there. Ring police, we're at St. Paul. Continue. I love Blue Yonder. I love Blue Yonder. 
Okay, so now pilot courtesy. You know you have traffic on final behind. You just uh -huh. get Gotta out of go. the way as quick as you can. Yep, thank you. Skyhawk 9 or 7 6, where do you like to park tonight? Uh, Skyhawk Fox Stream Lima 1976, uh, we'll just park at a general aviation ramp. I overshot that taxiway. Keep going, take the next one. Yep. Okay, Skyhawk 1 9 or 7 6, you can exit to the right on runway 9 or. Uh, actually, runway 27, that's Ugh. to the right on 27 there. 27. And then taxi via Delta. He's to the right. Correction, taxi via Alpha and Bravo, Char Alpha, Charlie, Bravo. Uh, Fox Charlie, 1976, say again. Uh, never mind, looks like he passed <laughs> runway 9. <laughs> well, he said turn right um, instead of turn left. Alpha 2. Exit Alpha 2, Fox Rutland 1976. Sorry, Blue Yonder. You're going to have to wait. And then Skyhawk 9 or 7, 6, taxi yes, there to the ramp here. Hold on. Alpha 2, Bravo. Alpha 2, Alpha, then Bravo. Taxi Alpha 2, Alpha, then Bravo. Fox Rutland 1976. And that, that's the FBO ramp over there. It uh, looks like you started up by the administration building, so this is more where the GA parks over on this side, under the tower. Great, thank you. It was... 2337. Wind 190, correction, wind 1509er, runway 14, cleared for the option. I heard that. Boo. One three three seven cleared for the option. So Alpha two. That's VHF. Bravo. So, so when two VHF frequency transmits at the same time, you get that sound. Okay, I didn't know what that was. Yep, that's normal. It's called a header heterodyne. Okay, and then you said left. Let me go left here for Bravo. Is that Bravo? Yeah, Rob is right. Yeah, there. at this point, you can just go straight ahead into whatever. It doesn't ramp matter. Yep. Okay. I mean, I asked for GA ramp, but it looks like that's kind of this. He said this was GA over here. Yep, that's fine. He probably knows the airport better than most of us. So, what are you all saying about blocked? So, when two frequencies talk at the same time, uh -huh. you get that boo sound. Oh. And you're blocking each other on the frequency. So, for example, Blue Yonder didn't hear the beginning of his transmission, <coughs> and the controller didn't hear the beginning of Blue Yonder's transmission. So they talked over each other. It wasn't a me. Correct. Was, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. No, no. That's just frequency. Wow. When two VHF frequencies, when two VFR, uh, I'm sorry, VHF stations are transmitting at the same time on a VHF frequency, you get that. That's radio blocking. And there it goes. Well, that was stressful enough. Um... I mean, I still feel like I'm going to say something wrong. For instance, even that very ending where he was telling me um, about this GA parking or whatever, like, I just respond as if it's just a normal conversation at that point. Yeah, that's fine. Um, your only, well, not a mistake, it was your confusion. Yes. It was when he told you to make a right turn because you and your head had that you were going north eastbound to where we started, right? So at oh. that point, just forget about the instruction that you think it's right and just take the controller's instruction, right? He said, make a right, make a right. Doesn't matter if you're going all the way to the north. Doesn't go, matter if you're going the opposite way. Mooney just three, make three, the right. Seven, one, five, because he's zero, trying nine, to clear you off the runway one, four, so he can get the next aircraft in. So then after that, then we can analyze where we're and going one, three, and what's the instruction. Track, but at that point, four, just get up the runway. That's all you needed to do. Yeah. Roger. Um, and uh, just in case you want to do on. anything else, uh, it's up to you whether I want whether you want me to treat the airport tower as open or closed. Now that you're the last one in the pattern, um, this time of night, in real world, it'd be closed. Uh, but the uh, other aircraft uh, wanted to simulate it open, so that's why we were doing that. So it's completely up to you at this point. Seems nice. Yeah, no, November one thirty-seven. Yeah, it's fine. I'm I'm just gonna be finishing up here. 
So I, for some reason, thought we were going to be turning left. And when he said right, I got very confused. I thought the same thing. And he, um, so I kept going, and that's when he said, okay, well, you've passed runway nine, so go on and just take the next right. And after that, it was fine. I just thought we were going to go back here. I thought he was going to put me back where we started. When I said GA ramp, um, well, no, I guess I said that up here. I just assumed he would put us back where we started, which would have involved turning left here, but that would have involved a hold short. Um here between these two runways and then either way we would have had to cross a runway to get back to this part whether it was go around and here or go around and here so uh you said general parking at the end i did it was later it was after i got across i just said uh yeah just general aviation ramp jeez okay well we did one i mean we're the more we do that the better we will get the mm -hmm. The FBO is where the popcorn and fuel is. What's the FBO? Forward base of operations. It's where Forward. all the uh, the the jets, the private jets usually park, <laughs> and the private GA planes that are just passing them. Uh, so Hape says there was a beeping there. Check your V pilot for a text message. Uh, wait. Uh, from him, he said thanks for flying. I see from your remarks that you are new to VATSIM. Any questions? I'm going to reply. That was my first uh, VAT sim flight ever. Thank you for being patient. I'm also streaming. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah, I'll correct myself. It's fixed base operator. Fixed You're based right. operator. There you go. Um, yeah. Thanks, Defiant. Invite him to come fly with us sometime. <laughs> I mean, you know, I appreciate that he messaged. I said, thanks for flying. I see from your remarks that you're new to VATSIM. Any questions? I said, yeah, that was my first VATSIM flight ever. Thank you for being patient. I'm also streaming this so people were watching. Um, if they're not busy, tell them where you park while in air so they can prepare. Okay. Okay. Well, let me... Um, uh, November 1337 is uh, clearly on. active on Delta. Let's just look and get back to the FBO. Mooney 337, taxi via Alpha Charlie Bravo cross runway nine at Alpha. So he replied with November one three three seven Alpha uh, Charlie Bravo uh, crossing runway nine. He uh, he replied, no problem. Just a suggestion that you use a realistic N number makes it a bit more realistic for everyone. So do I just need to do November nineteen seventy six from now on? That could be yeah. Because I I'd, I'd seen that you don't necessarily have to do that, but I mean if it's a suggestion, I I probably could keep doing it but uh november foxtrot lima 1976 hape says no november 1976 foxtrot lima oh foxtrot November would be at the end no, number nine if you're using u.s numbers it's november 976 foxtrot lima it's three digits it's six digits in total it probably be, it's just going to be the, the more we have to do the longer we're going to be talking it's going to be easier just to say november 1976 no here's the difference though once you're in the air in FAA, you can abbreviate. Um, hold on a second. Um, he said, you did great. Just curious, how many on the stream? Um, it's 96. <laughs> 96 right now. I gave him the link to the stream. Let's see if he tunes in. Um, so gumbo. Oh, so so will you say that again? Uh, oh, hold on. Let me go. Let me let me check chat. Pilot deviation. Hold on. Um, Glegger says you can make your own call sign. No need for tail number. November one three three seven is shutting down. Thank you and good night. Have a good night. 
And um, and then CD said, you don't have to be in XXXX. That's just for the pilot LARPers who want other planes to have realistic call signs. Um, lots of streamers don't say November, Gumbo says. VatSim is just D&D for people who prefer planes. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Gumbo says, let's play GeoGuessr with him. Um, so let's see. Mo so, okay. So now... Uh, just got to send it 90. Thanks for the follow. Welcome. Just got to send it. Um, so what were you going to say, Pilot Deviation, about what we should call ourselves with the call sign? So site? in FAA, at least, once you uh, you do your initial uh, contact, you can shorten your call sign and call yourself Skyhawk Sits in over, uh, Foster Lima at that point. If your call sign is November 97 Sits Foster Lima, you can just use the last three if you identify your aircraft. Okay. If, 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 it, if it's confusing, I can try to explain that again. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm probably going to go back and watch this VOD uh, anyway, um, just to hear some of the things you all are saying, because there's a lot going on. Um, for instance, John is trying to get me to use the Star Trek Enterprise call sign NCC 1701, and Hape says there's a guy in Boston who already does that. Yep, there is. <laughs> Um, and, um, Kev Mikwa, am I saying that right? Kev Mikwa says, believe me, most folks don't observe that bit of realism about entail numbers. I see folks on with call signs like Starfleet. Yeah. So, um, so I'm going to turn the plane off. Um, although I can't, I, I can't talk to him if my plane is off. Is that right? You can talk to him on private message. But I wouldn't be able to and vocal. I wouldn't be able to send a voice no. transmission unless I'm okay so um, so should I say should I do what uh, Blue Yonder just did and say goodnight shutting down no not really okay I mean that's that's a personal preference it's okay. not a requirement and I don't have to do what Blue Yonder does yes right. you do yes you do <laughs> I'm telling you Blue Yonder when I heard your voice I immediately looked over at Discord I was like he's messing with me he's in our chat and he's just talking and then I was like no, he's not here where am I hearing his voice so. I have to throw you a curveball. You were doing so well on all the other stuff. It's like the only thing you hadn't practiced is someone else on the frequency. Well, that's and I, you know, at least it was, um, at least it was you. <laughs> um, Doctor V Tack says uh, question. Since I'm fairly new with Microsoft Flight Sim 2020, I noticed when I hooked up my old Thrustmaster joystick, it seems like I can't control the aircraft properly. Doesn't turn when I want it to, nor breaks the setting issue. Or should I update my joystick to a honeycomb yoke? Oh, don't try to go to a yoke right now. Get your Thrustmaster to work. Um, just go to your settings. It's hard to say without seeing your settings, Dr. VTAC. And Rogue Viking says, hello, I'm the controller. <laughs> so if you have any questions, let me know. Hello, Rogue Viking. Good evening. Welcome. We're glad you're here. For the last uh, two nights, we've been practicing. And um, Pilot Deviation and Blue Yonder, who you were just speaking with, the other pilot that was doing some pattern work, uh, they uh, they were in Discord with me and trying to help me understand some things. And I'm uh, I'm trying to get better with it, but it's, uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, I've been doing this flight sim for you know a year and a half and i've never done a flight sim before that was a, this is my first one and that was the first time we've actually done a beginning to end vat sim flight because the first two i did <laughs> perfect tweak thank you tweak the first two i did were unsuccessful rogue viking but yeah thank you for uh, being patient with me tonight we're very lucky that we have help. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, well, a lot. We have multiple uh, VATSIM controllers that watch and um, and um, and help. So, oh gosh, that was just a little nerve wracking because I I didn't know. Um... Oh, Ropey, thank you for the gift sub to Rogue Viking. Yeah, John, that's gonna have to go up. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't need that thing blasting in my ears every three seconds. We got one Charlie Mike Seven, thanks for the follow. Uh Bittersweet says that was awesome. I was sitting That's at GA said. ramp and watching and listening. Nice bittersweet. Rogue said not bad at all. Uh if this was really your first flight on Vassim. Oh, it absolutely was, Rogue. Yeah, there's no uh, absolutely. Well, 
when I say first flight, listen, I started two of them. One of them, I got up in the air and uh, they put me to Unicom and um, I just kind of quit because there was no one else to talk to, even where I was going to be landing. It was a small flight. And then uh, the next time I tried it, I didn't even get off the ground because they were asking questions I didn't know how to respond to. So I said, I think I'm not ready for this. So the last couple nights we've been practicing and I've gone back to watch some of my VODs to get some help um, and watching more videos and just trying to learn. So certainly was the first. Uh, and Jake is right. Yeah, we've done three nights of pretending uh, to do VATSIM with a VATSIM controller. And that was uh, that's a pilot deviation that's in Discord now helping. Uh, pilot deviation does more uh, Miami. Is that right, pilot deviation? Yep, I mostly control in the Miami airspace. Miami airspace. Um, so, yeah. Wow. Um, so I'm going to disconnect from the network. Is that all I have to do? I just disconnect? That's it. Okay. Um, and I'm sure it will be more um, nerve-wracking and more intense when we go to a busier place. We tried to choose a place uh, that was not very busy, smaller airport. Um, honestly, the worst thing I did on that flight was my pattern work itself. My patterns were awful. I was too in, you know, entranced in everything else I needed to be doing um, and not focusing so much on the pattern work. So, and we missed the taxi. We did miss the, miss the taxi. Yes, uh, we did miss the taxi because I, I knew where I had started and I was anticipating going left to where I had started. I should never have anticipated or assumed. And when controller said go right, my brain shut down for a second. And so then you were like, okay, you're past runway nine. Go on and turn right at alpha two. And that made sense. So. I should not have assumed. Um, just got to send it says, how do you get on the Discord? Well, I mean, if you want, just send me a message. Uh, you can do uh, what Jake just did and click on that link. And then, um, you know, if anybody, you know, does control work and they want to help um, in voice chat, you know, please help. Please help. Um, but yeah, it's, it's um, you'd have to just message me and, and we'll have to kind of have, a, you know, communication beforehand. Um... You should have started at KJFK. No, thanks. No, thanks. Um, so listen, I have a very long day and we did what we needed to do for tonight. I feel like that's a good stopping point. Um, Roar! Rogue says turned out fine. Hard to tell on the ground exactly where you are and how fast for that turn off. Oh, that makes sense, Rogue Viking. So you're not exactly sure exactly where I am on that point. So that makes sense. There's about a, I think it's a two second or three second delay between pilots and controllers because that's how real world scope works. So we get the same delay as real world controllers do. And so since we can't see out the window, I can't technically see where you are. That makes sense. So there's always going to be a delay sure. between where we tell you to exit and where you actually exit. Makes sense. Okay. And uh, yeah, Rogue says I don't have tower view up right now. Well, Rogue, thanks for at least coming in and stopping by. Uh, and I appreciate you also uh, messaging um, messaging me through the the V Pilot app. That was that was nice of you. Um, so Oreo, no, he did not beat the boss. And um, and honestly, if he's still going right now, because he started uh, at nine o'clock, um, is he still going? Oh wow, is he? He is. <laughs> Five hundred and seventy six deaths. Um, he had 450 when he started the stream four hours and 15 minutes ago. So we are done for the night. Um, Jake, thank you for the gift subs earlier tonight. Um, all the bits that you all did follows. I hope you had a good time uh, for our first VATSIM flight. And by flight, I mean running some patterns. But for me, it was important because you have to start somewhere. So we, I think we can't be afraid to make mistakes, but we still have to stay focused and I'm gonna have to go back and watch this VOD so uh, Blue Yonder thank you for making that a lot of fun too um, Pilot Deviation thank you again for the help tonight yes we will we will um, 
So thank you all. I'm going to disconnect from Discord. Thank you all. Good night. Um, okay. And then uh, Captain says, I'll add you to my MSFS AFF Discord for announcements every time you go live. Thank you, Captain. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Rogue says, come by some other time when I'm online if you want to practice some other things like flight following. Sure. Yeah, Rogue Viking. Definitely. Thank you. We'll keep you in mind. I appreciate that so much. All right. Let's go say hello. For those that don't know, Logan, uh, that we're going to go raid as a former student of mine. I am a teacher. Uh, and I teach percussion. And he was one of my students years ago. And now he's trying to play... Elden Ring, and he's been playing the same boss. Apparently one of the toughest bosses in Elden Ring, and we raided him last night, and he died a lot, and he started four hours, almost five hours ago, and he is still on the same boss. So, uh, now, we're getting ready to raid, and he just started the second phase of this boss, so at least there is uh, some progress that you're getting ready to see. So, alright, thanks again, everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah, Kev, let's talk about drums later, if you're, if you're a drummer. So I will see you all later. Hope to see you tomorrow night. Night, everybody.